Yo, what is going on, everybody? I am your host, Slack is Gaming, bringing you the next episode in our potential, I guess, just Echo Fighter tournament. Not potential, but uh, I mean, they they are potentially could be Echo Fighters. But basically, next episode in our Echo Fighter tournament. And uh, if you haven't seen it, made a tournament of characters that could pe potentially be Echo Fighters. I know I just said that a bunch, but uh, uh, yeah, so it's only potential characters that can be echo fighters there we go again and then uh we put them we pair them up against other people match them up against other characters i go over some pros for the characters and then we vote down in the comments for who we want in that matchup just who would you rather have as an echo fighter pretty simple so uh yeah uh before we get started let's jump into the results from last wednesday so last wednesday should should have been game three which was octolings taking on prince fluff and this one really wasn't uh, too, yeah, well, it's, it, here it is, Octolings, <laughs> 62 to 15, Octoling pretty much dominated that one. I expected that one to be, some people, you know, uh, somebody brought up a good point, you know, Prince Fluff doesn't really have the, the copy ability like Kirby does, at least I don't think so. So, and plus, if you did that for, <laughs> if you did that for Prince Fluff and he was an echo of Kirby, You'd have to redo all that stuff, you know, uh, new hats, uh, you know, all the costumes. Got, like when Kirby inhales and gains that ability. You'd also have to do that for Prince Fluff, and that would be a lot of, uh, a lot of additional work. So, yeah, Prince Fluff probably isn't one of the more likely, but uh, it's still fun to have him in the tournament. So that means Prince Fluff goes down here to the loser bracket. We'll be taking on Zack Fair next. So, yeah. All right, there we go. That's the loser bracket down there. So that brings us to today's matchup, matchup number nine. Impa, Echoing Sheik, taking on King Wart, Echoing King K. Rule. I originally had this as Wario, but I thought about it a little bit more, and I think King K. Rule might make more sense, and I'll try to explain that. So let's jump into it, shall we? Impa from The Legend of Zelda. I will always say this, and like I've said in the past, and I will say it in the future, Legend of Zelda as a franchise needs new faces in Super Smash Brothers as a playable characters besides 400 links uh Zelda Sheik and Ganondorf. All right, let's get somebody else in there. Impa would fit perfectly. Skull Kid, Tingle, Midna. I mean there there's plenty of characters that would, you know, definitely work and fit, you know. But uh in this case for Impa, if one thing uh, I've learned about Impa is a lot of people kind of, it's not, she's not a character that's talked about a lot, but, you know, when you bring her up, there's a lot of people that are like, all right, you know what, Impa, Impa would work very well, because my old, uh, my other tournament that I'm doing, Impa actually made it pretty far, Impa took out, uh, Hayachi, yeah, Impa took out Hayachi, that's, uh, it's still, still, uh, crazy to me, but, so, the, the fan base is there, but it's just kind of like one of those characters that's not really talked about but you bring it up and you're going to get some good reactions for you're going to get some support for this character uh so i mean echo and chic i know some people are like um how would that work here this is probably probably the iteration a lot of people think of impa from hyrule warriors with the long staff um i mean i've seen a lot of people also talk about you know just the, the movement, the, the, the size of the character, the hitbox of the character, all seems to kind of match up with Sheik. Um, I don't know too much about Impa, honestly. The only negative I can really say is how would you view the character, and I've said this before about Impa as well in my other tournament, but how do, how would Sakurai view the character, and by that, what do I mean by that? Sakurai likes to stick to the true version of the character, so since Hyrule Warriors is kind of that spin off -y kind of game, uh, for Legend of Zelda, uh, the maybe Sakurai thinks the true version of Impa is the older version of Impa. So, I mean, you got that to kind of tango with a bit. But Impa definitely has to have one of the, I think, not the not better chances, but definitely a chance to be an Echo Fighter. I think so. Um, but uh, let's move on to Impa's opponent, which I had to do a little bit of research on this guy, King. Wart. So I knew that King Wart had made an appearance in not only Mario games as like the main antagonist of Super Mario Bros. 2, but he's also been in a Legend of Zelda game, not as a boss or anything, just kind of like a character that was there. If I remember right, he actually 
taught Link a uh, a song. What was it called? Um, Frogs. I wrote this down actually. The song is called Frogs Song of Soul. He taught that to Link, and Link actually paid him three hundred rupees for it. Fun fact about that. So, I think King Wart as a character. I mean, he's a bigger character. Uh, so echoing. King K rule to an extent. I think you could kind of take it actually as kind of like the the Crom route, where you give them you know a good chunk of the moves from this character A, but you also incorporate some moves from uh, you know character B as well. So what do I mean by that? I know it's crossing you know different games, but this tournament is just for fun. So just kind of roll with me as I go through this. So King Wart he would be an echo of King K rule. But he could, you know, he would have the the big stomach. He could maybe have that counter attack, in a way, kind of like um, King K Rule does. Um, DDD has like that little running, uh, like belly flop thing uh, that he does, and I think King K Rule could also take that from King DDD. Um, I remember reading somewhere that King Wart has some sort of bubble attack. No, he's not a Pokemon, but it's some something to do with bubbles, and that got me thinking. You could do something. Like uh, Bowser's Fire Breath, you hold B, but King Wart, it's some sort of like dirty bubbles or something like that. So you can take like elements of the big characters and kind of mash them all into this one King Wart. I just think there's a lot there for King Wart, especially, you know, he's got a cool history with Nintendo. I mean, not a lot of characters have been a boss in one game and have appeared in another major franchise, albeit it was kind of a small role. Although, I do want to point out that King Wart actually had a, a reference in Hyrule Warriors in one of the DLC packs. What was it called? I'm going to butcher this name, but it was the DLC Koholint Island. I, I hope I pronounced that right. But uh, basically, Ganondorf has a costume. Um, so, let me back up just a bit. King Wart's name in, in uh, Jap Japanese is Mamu, M-A-M-U. And I think, if I remember correctly, I didn't write it down, but if I remember correctly, the, the outfit Ganondorf has, it's either called Mamu or there's some sort of reference in that outfit Ganondorf has to King Wart because, well, Ganondorf, Zelda, King Wart was in Zelda. So, I mean, it's a cool little reference kind of tie-in sort of thing, which is so cool. I mean, I think there's a lot here you can really do with King Wart. Like I said, you know... I, it, it's it's kind of cheating, you know. I'm saying take stuff from Bowser, King DDD, and King K. Rule, mash them into one. I just think King Ward is such a really cool and unique character, and Nintendo could be sitting on something pretty cool here. Actually, well, they are, but you know, if they did something with that, you know, I I would love to see it. Maybe put them. Uh, I mean, if you put him as an Echo Fighter, why not? But how about maybe even start small, put him in a Mario, uh, Mario sports game, a Mario party, you know, uh, some sort of Zelda, you know, give him a side mission, bring him back up, you know, let bring this character back to life. I think it'd be so cool. So, I th with the way I've been talking about this, yes, this is to vote for who you personally want. And the more I kind of like looked into King Wart. I would love King Ward on the roster. So my vote is for King Ward on this one. I'm probably alone on this one. Or, you know, in the very <laughs> vocal or the minority for this one. But my vote is King Ward. I think he would just bring such a cool uniqueness to him. I know it's another big character. There's not a ton of big characters, you know. So I guess that's pretty cool if you want to look at it that way. But, yeah, my vote's King Ward. Let me know who you got down in the comments. Impa, King Ward. Uh... Psh Let's be honest, Imp was probably going to win this one, but King Wart, I hope he puts up some sort of fight. Anyway, that's who I'm voting for, so yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as usual, and hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.